Kwani. This is my kitchen. Welcome to Lokai Cook in Kwani's kitchen. Today I am going to make Gung Thod Gratiam Prik Thai and it's stir fried or fried prawns with garlic and black pepper. It's very nice but be warned that this dish is going to be stink of garlic. But who doesn't like garlic? Everybody likes garlic. I'm gonna start off with making my three musketeers, the garlic, um, coriander root and black pepper. Right, this is what we're gonna do. Them, them, and them. But this is the first one that's going in. So there we go. We're grinding them rather um, we're grinding them rather than just smashing them up. We'll break it up so it breaks gently, not too hard, then start grinding. There we go. garlic and coriander roots going in to make it easier salt and there we go all in there now then just keep crushing it wait Right, that one will help. It doesn't. There we go. You hear the difference? Now I can do a bit harder. Go. It's all crushed. This is the Argentinian prawns I've got from Audi. This is one pack in the um, freezer zone. They're quite nice. They are a lot bigger than what um, they sell in supermarket and say it's jumbo prawns. I think that's quite small. These are nice size. So I am going to put that. It would have been nicer if we've got like proper heads on, tails on, shells on, prawns because they will have the fat on the top of the head as well. But I know some people think they are aliens, so I'll just use this one for today. Then I'm adding a bit of soy sauce and I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to move it so it's easier for me. Right, I'm going to mix it up. Now I'm going to get the pan on Add the oil into the pan I'm using quite a lot of oil today I'm gonna 
try putting a little bit of garlic in. Oh yeah. Because the prawn cooked very, very fast. So I'm gonna start off with my garlic that I can get out on the extra bits that's kind of stuck together, a lot together. Still leave some to stay on the prawn. And there we go. Now the garlic's starting to brown up and what? Oh, and I can smell it. I'm gonna add the rest into here. So just wait until it's cooked and then it's done. Try not to overcook them. This one might be a bit hard to tell um, when it's cooked because they are already quite pink when it's raw. And like the jumbo prawns that sells in supermarket and um, normal ones in the freezer zone because they are kind of white grey-ish so when it's cooked it turned pink but this one it's already pink and then the part that's not quite pink it turns white so there we go it's done how quick is that Turn the heat off. Here's my plate. I'm gonna. Oh, I better put that down there. The prawns. As you can see, I'm not very good at plating. It's down to one side and it's all getting plate mucky. Not good, not good. There we go. If, um, if we use the prawns that still got heads and tails and shells and everything, and keep the fat on the head this garlic bit would have turned a bit pinkish orange reddish color because of all the fat and it's actually quite nice um, I'm gonna show you what's left in the pan still some bits of garlic and some oil we are not going to waste that going to be using it in a minute so now oh my plate is not beautiful yeah I need to practice plating it uh, uh, it's going all around anyway it's a little bit better and I am going to Garnish it with some coriander. There we go, it looks quite nice now. That's it. Now, back to the wastage that we're not going to waste. Get the hot back on, heat it up. 
then that one. We are going to put the rice that I've got earlier. This is just normal brown long grain rice. You can get it from normal supermarket and that's what I've prepared early, earlier, the spring onions. Now, pan's hot, oil's hot, rice go in. Then the rice will get all the lovely garlic into them. If you want to add the eggs, you can as well, but I am not going to today. I'm just going to do just rice to soak all these up. And I'm going to add a little touch of soy sauce just to give it extra flavour. That's it. And a bit of greens from the spring onions to colour it up. If you are here, you'll be able to smell how lovely these smell. Now I'll show you again what's left in the pan. Nothing. All used up. So I'm garnishing my rice a little more. Because all the spring onions gone underneath. There we go. So now I have um gung tot gra chiam pik thai and garlic fried rice together all done that easy and you've got a meal and um, thank you for watching don't forget to click like on the video subscribe to my channel and please share my video thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you next time. Enjoy your meal. Bye-bye.